<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to my vlog for April. And in case you don't know what a vlog is, it means a video plus a blog vlog. And um, I hope you've been having a really great 2014 so far. It's gone so fast, hasn't it? And it seems like every month is just more busier than the previous month. So I hope you're doing what you need to do this year and I hope you're having some fun as well. Um, you may have seen my previous vlogs. I did a January, February one and March plus one. In March, um, at the end of March and the beginning of April, I had a guest from Florida. Um, his name is Brian and you may know him as the vegan black metal chef. I had a great time with him for the first part of April. Um, you can see my previous blog for that one. Um, I talk about what we got up to. He was here for 10 days in Brisbane after a tour in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane for um, a cooking demo with Terry and Issa from Post Punk Kitchen. We had a great time doing a lot of social events, um, going to vegan places, seeing some of our wonderful wildlife and nature and um, I had a vegan barbecue for him and um, yeah we did a lot of touristy stuff as well so have a look at the previous blog for more of what I got up to with Brian when he was here and some photos as well and actually if you have a look at the Viva La Vegan um, Google Plus page or our Facebook page you can actually see some of the photos from the Australian barbecue for Brian. One of my um, social media and content creation clients is Cruelty Free Super. And they're, a, they're Australians only 100% vegan superannuation fund. In case you're not aware, superannuation is like our retirement fund. In Australia we have to put money towards our superannuation all the time and um, this, this company has been going for over three years and we're in the midst of updating the website at the moment. So I'm helping out with that. I have um, a designer who's doing the website and I have um, my photographer Carol who's doing a photo, photos for us so we have our own photos. And we did quite a few photo shoots um, this month. We've done various things and you can see them on the Cruelty Free Super Google Plus and Facebook page of behind the scenes stuff. And hopefully the website will be launched in the next few months. My friend Jeremy and his um, friend Eloise, they have a portable zine workshop business. In case you don't know, a zine is a do-it-yourself magazine and um, I helped him out with one of his workshops, a zine workshop over in Esk, um, somewhere throughout April and it was really cool. It was part of like a skate, a skating competition and that as well. So it was really nice to be out in the country a bit and to meet some of the locals. Uh, Renato and I went to see one of my favorite artists, Suzanne Vega, who you may know, who sings that song Luca, Marlena on the Wall and Tom's Diner. Um, and she was quite big in the 80s folk singer from New York I believe and so it was really cool so we saw her at the convention center and um, it was a really lovely night. I hadn't seen some of my girlfriends down the Gold Coast all year actually so finally when Easter came around and I had a few days off in a row I went down and hung out with my friend Corinne and saw Miranda and Sal and some of the other people down there that I love. And that was really good and then um, we just had Anzac Day which is Australian and New Zealand Army Corp um, and commemorating people that died in, in battle in particular for the Anzacs and um, it's a really big day for AFL football and so it's really good to watch the Essendon and the Collingwood game even though Collingwood didn't play that well in the first quarter and I hung out with some of my old um, JB Hi-Fi music friends who I used to work with on that weekend with yeah, old friends and made some new ones and it was a really cool weekend. Um, I've obviously, because I'm a big fan of the Brisbane Lions and Australian Football League, AFL, I've been to the Brisbane Lions games. We had um, a couple with the, the Suns, the Gold Coast Suns, down at the Metricon Stadium down the Gold Coast. I took Brian to that actually um, when he was here and that was really fun. Got to see Gary Ablett Jr. again and we also played against Richmond and then we also played against St Kilda over the Anzac 
um, day weekend and we actually won that game so we've won one out of what six or seven now so still at the bottom of the ladder but at least we had one game that we won um, I've done a lot of Skype interviews for my podcast with various people and if you've not checked them out make sure you do I put podcasts up on Podomatic iTunes Stitcher and Scatter Radio and they're there and you can also watch the videos um, that I record of the podcast on YouTube so I'm sure you've seen a few of them um, I interviewed Alice from Bourgeois Bo Bohem can't say that properly she says it much better I interviewed Stuart who's vegan from um, Geelong in Melbourne I interviewed Laura Jane the Rotarian who lives in Prince Edward Island in Canada and I also interviewed Derek Goodwin from New York and I hope you check out all of those interviews and get to know some of these people that are doing some really cool vegan stuff all over the world um, and I hope you have a really great month ahead in May and I'm looking forward to seeing quite a few bands in May actually and um, I'm going to see Johnny Craig this week. I'm going to see um, bands called Infinity Broke, one of my favourite bands, Blue Bottle Kiss, Jamie Hutchings' new band. I'm going to see Janelle Monet, and then I'm going to, to Sydney to see Lauren Hill. So I hope you have a really great May planned. What have you been doing the past few months? Let me know in the comments. If you want me to do something in particular, put it in the comments and I may consider it. Have a great month and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care and see vivalavegan.net for more information.